Hi, welcome to today's tutorial on assigning referring physicians in Nexus 360. We're just going to log on to Nexus 360 now. And when we first log on to Nexus 360, as a lab administrator, I've set up this dashboard to show a graph of the referring physicians. This is showing the name of the physician and how many studies have been allocated to that particular physician. So in the example of Dr. Imakura, there are four studies allocated to this referring physician. The first of two scenarios in which you would assign a referring physician to a study in Nexus 360 is where you purely want to allocate the referring physician to a study so that you're able to import that into the study reports and have a look at how many studies have come from which referring physician. Similar to the graph that we're seeing on the dashboard here. To do this, we go to our studies list. And here we have a study that's already been recorded and is now available for Joan Smith. And if we go into the blue folder icon for service details and go down to the bottom of the page, here we can see a drop-down list in which we can choose a particular referring physician from our database to which we can assign the study. If the referring physician that you want to assign the study to is not yet within the database, simply go up to the top right-hand corner to the Advanced button and select Add Referring Physician. In here, you will need to assign a reference code for the referring physician. And at minimum, a last name and a first name. So we have Dr. Phil Well being assigned as a new referring physician. And then simply click on the Create button. Going back to the Service Details page for Jane Smith, in the Service tab, we can then go down to Referring Physician and select Fill Well from the drop-down list. We then need to select Save in the top right-hand corner. If we now go back to our dashboard, we will see here that Dr. Phil Well has been allocated as one of the referring physicians and now has one study assigned to his name. The second scenario for referring physicians is where the clinic will actually set up user accounts for the referring physician themselves so that they can not only have studies assigned to them for reporting purposes, but that referring physician can log on to Nexus 360 with their unique username and password and only see those studies that are available for them. In order to do this, we go to Admin Tools and System Groups. And here we will see a group called Referring Physicians. If we select on the pencil icon, this is where the administrator or lab manager can assign what privileges or permissions or user functions the referring physicians group has. In this case, the main permissions that I'm giving the referring physicians are viewing a patient, viewing appointments, viewing studies, and also viewing reports. If we go back to systems groups and we select on the people or the users icon, this is where we see a list of physicians that are assigned to the referring physicians group. In order to add a new referring physician, first I need to set up 
a Nexus 360 user account for that position. So I go into admin tools, user accounts, and we're going to add a user. Here we're going to type in the username with first name and last name. And for the purpose of the demo, we're going to use my email account. An email account is necessary when setting up a new user so that they receive password notifications, etc. And then we're going on the right hand side to allocate this new user to the referring physicians group. Once that is done, we go back up to the top right hand corner and select on create. Now if we go back to admin tools, system groups, and we go back to the user icon, we will see that Professor B Healthy has been assigned to the referring physicians group. Then to associate that user with a referring physician account, we need to go to admin tools, configure service details, and we go to the referring physicians icon. And you can see here that Professor B Healthy has not yet been assigned to this referring physicians page. So in here we'll add referring physician and we assign a unique reference code, the surname, and importantly this is where we now associate this new referring physician with the Nexus 360 user account that we've already set up. So here you'll see Professor B Healthy's Nexus 360 user account visible in the drop down window. We go to the top right hand corner and select create. Now you can see here on the second row Professor B Healthy has been added to the referring physicians group and to the configured service details. So now if we go to our studies page and we have a look at one of the studies, in this case we'll look at Peter White's study and we'll click on the blue service details icon. If we go down to the bottom of the page, the referring physician, we select on the drop down, we can now see Professor B Healthy is available to assign the study to. Then go to the top right hand corner and select save. Now we will go back to the dashboards page and we see on the referring physicians graph not only do we have the study assigned to Dr. Phil Well, the first study that we did in this demo where Phil Well does not actually have a user account, but we also have another study below it which is Professor B Healthy and that's the study assigned to Professor B Healthy but Professor B Healthy also has a Nexus 360 user account and can log on separately and will see that study only. Now as an example to show you what the referring physician will see when they log in, we're going to log in as one of our predefined referring physicians and that person is Dr. Imakura and you can see here from the referring physician graph with the green color that this doctor has four studies allocated against her. We're logged on as Dr. Imakura and here we can see in the dashboard with the study list that four studies have been assigned to this referring physician and if we go to the study list tab, 
This is where the referring physician will be able to access those studies. That's all for this tutorial. We hope that you found this information useful. Thank you.